Farrell Trey here, and the Greenwood Seminoles have made it to the playoffs after having a stellar regular season. They're into the playoffs, and we're playing these Vancouver, uh, you know, Ducks. I call them Ducks. I ain't, whatever. I don't care what their name is. I have no respect for this team whatsoever. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Even though we might lose because of the injuries we're dealing with right now, I do not care. Do not care. I have no respect for this team. I'm not going to respect this team. You know, I love their uniforms. Something thing about them I like. As you can see, we have new uniforms for the playoffs as well. I wanted to give a new look. And you know what? I like it. You know what I'm saying? This new look is nice. It's nice. It's nice. And I know some of y'all going to hate. Go ahead and hate on it. Go ahead and hate on it. Oh, isn't it? Man, hush. Hush. You should have made it. Hush. Hush. Enjoy the uniform. It's beautiful. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> we are on defense, baby. We are on defense. And we are looking to, you know, make a stand early. And we do not. As, as a matter of fact, we give up about 22 yards on the play. He throws it deep. He, and my, my defense is beat or they were asleep. I couldn't tell. I didn't even look. See, that's how bad it is. I stopped looking. Because when I look, I'd be like, okay, he's covered, he's covered, he's open, he's open, and he's going to throw it to this guy. And he does, and it's like you watch the 20-yard play happen. It's just like, why? So instead, I'm going to look at my lineman and see if we can get some pressure going on because that's what we need. And besides that, I'm kind of, you know, doing my own little report because after this, if we lose, we're immediately in the offseason, and I need help. I need real freaking help. You know, so I'm looking for that. And I'm also looking at my, my linebackers making bad decisions too. So... You know, I, I got a top-notch linebacker squad, though. Don't don't get me wrong. Like, my two two out of the three of my linebackers, you know, all three are type, top defensive players this year. You know, so my linebacker core, I might not touch so much. As, but the, the defensive James, backs and defensive line, I definitely might add there. I'm definitely, the definitely adding it as average piece of first down. I'm definitely going to add there. The we need more pressure on the uh, – we need more pressure on the QB. We need more pressure on him. He's, he's getting through. He's just there. They're getting busy. The quarterbacks are getting busy. The only way they get sacked is if you see him extra men. And that's sometimes. As Kofi comes up and makes a play. Thank you, Kofi. Appreciate you. Appreciate you so much. Talk your, talk your stuff, man. Because you made that. You did that. You stopped that. Without you, that would have been a first or touchdown. That is facts. So thank you for that. And the center guy in motion. That's back for a pass. And he has a man wide open. I mean, Alvarez is wide open. It's crazy because it looked like they was playing man coverage. That's what's crazy. So, like, somebody just didn't do their job. And that's, and that's what I'm talking about right here. You know? So, whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? You know what I mean? Who do I blame there? Who do I blame there? Because the linebacker had the quarterback. He was spying. So, who had the running back? And he misses his he, Who had that? Like, you you got to you gotta have. You gotta have you, and then the defensive back just don't get interceptions. Like, I don't understand, River, man. Under center. Only sunlight and the peasy, peasy gets the interceptions. Our, our corners do not catch. They do not want to catch. They, don't, they have no interest. Sometimes they don't even want to make a play on the ball. It's like, bro, we need help out here. As we seen, look, see right here. How did he catch? That's wild. Wow. Okay, anyway, they got the touchdown. And it is now six. The field goal will make it seven. It will be seven. Oh, Vancouver way. Seven oh, Vancouver's way. Now, I'm wondering here what happens from this point forward because there is no way I'm going to sit here, sit here, sit here and watch the team just struggle, struggle, struggle. We're on, we're on offense in the red zone, so I guess we're not going to struggle, struggle, struggle. And they missed the dang PAT, so it's actually 6-0. to zero as, as the new running back, we pick up from free agency, from free agency. Comes out here, breaks two tackles, and picks up seven yards. You gotta love it. See what I'm saying? When you have a running game, man, it feels so good. So, so good. But Chabari is gonna get ran through. Ran through, and they give the sack to Mr. Bascom, but that was a team effort right there because our lineman played Ole blocking. They said, Ole! And just everybody just came through, man. That's crazy. Wow. I wonder how many jerseys he counted before he was looking at the grass. I really wanna know. And now, you know, after that hit, of course he's going to make some dumb decisions. He probably got a concussion. Send the field goal unit out there, man. Don't, don't do that to that boy. Don't do that to him. Send the field goal unit out there, man. Here we go. Come on now. Get us three. We'll take it from here. There we go. 
All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are now back, and they went four and out. And, of course, we had an awesome return. McCoy, slow but reliable as he gets five yards on the play. They gave him six. Thank you, Check referees, for that. We will take it. We will take it. Man, if only we can bribe y'all like they bribe referees on the MFL. MFL. I said MFL. You know what I'm talking about. I have a playlist on it. Don't do that. Here we go, McCoy. Jersey spot them, please. Give us a first down. They do. Let's go. Pick up the yards that we need and get that first down now. Just about, we are in field goal range right now. We are in field goal range. So, we could tie this up or we can go up. Let's find out what we do. Make this 10 6. Pay me on the flats. And you know what, man? I would love to see Pay me, pay me go deep right now. I would. Because. He's too slow to be in the back of the end zone by the time Chavari decides he's going to freaking throw the ball. So it would be a nice he kick if he didn't make that kick. I, I, I believe in Payton. I believe in him. As we hand the ball off you to McCoy, McCoy picks up to me. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. The running the game field. makes a difference, guys. It makes a huge difference. The running game makes a huge difference. A huge difference. A huge difference. As McCoy is brought down. See what I'm saying? Like, they they can't just rely on they can't just blitz heavily and rely on somebody to cover their guys like they they know that we now have a threat back here but he gets tired quickly that's the only the downside because now our tight end is in the game running the ball <laughs> but he picks up the yards that's what matters yeah as you can today, see our team is struggling our team is struggling with that right now death death to create right those now running lanes. so Kenzie Clark is going to be carrying the ball until McCoy catches his breath. Second down. And we might not. No, oh, he almost falls forward into the end zone. We almost, we almost. Second as McCoy, Vedrick McCoy is coming back in. And that boy name is Vedrick. Some people say Vedrick, but it's really Vedrick. It's V. Because we call him V on the team. As he breaks a tackle and tries to get back to the line, but doesn't get back. He is now tired again. So he's getting subbed out. He he's not in shape, so it's hard for him. He can't handle professional life. We are in the third quarter. With one minute and thirty seven seconds left as the tight end part gets the carry and walks into the end zone. He does. He might consider changing his position uh next year. If he does, I'm trading him. I do not want another running back who's just he's, he's just he's physical and he and he gets yards. And I don't mind that, but I really need we need a speedster. We really need a speedster. This offense that we run, we need people with speed, not not necessarily people with speed. You know, like Marshawn Lynch would be perfect. You know, those like I I, I, I mean, he's kind of fast. But I'm just saying, like we don't need the four three forties. No, a four five is fine. Four six is fine. But Clark doesn't need runs like four eight four nine. He's slower than most guys. So it's like, you know. We need we need guys who are faster than most guys, not slow, or average. You know, the end of the third you know what I'm saying? Because that's the type the of offense we run. You know, he can't get down the field. We we six. line it up, we throw the ball. He can't get down the field as the fourth quarter ends. I mean, the third Roll quarter ends. Going, we're walking into the fourth quarter, but yeah, he can't get down the field, and that's the problem. He can't get down the field. And we were at a complete standstill right there as the, you know, they were having technical difficulties with the clock the and everything like that. Everything's fine now, except for the fact that our linemen, not our linemen, the D linemen, are deciding to all start and bring their offense back. And you know what? Thank you for that because you're not on my team. So, ha, 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 thank you. Anyway, it is now second and 12. Nine minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. It is 6 to 10. Will we pull this off? Is the, the question. Will we, will we pull this off? Will we pull this out? How is it going to go? He throws it to double coverage and it is deflected. Thank you. Well, how is this going to go, man? How is it going to go? Will our defense hold? Will they fold? Rivers. We're going to find out because right now we don't know. So let's get it. Rivers looking for a man downfield and he has one. Patton catches it in a one on one situation because what is that defender going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. As they pick up the first down after a 20, I'm going to say 24 yards. Down. I didn't, didn't count it. I'm not going to lie to you. It was probably 30 down. yards. But anyway, Alvarez gets tackled. He gets Coming tackled on Brad. But before he does, he does manage to get one yard. Go not River. a pretty Watch run, back. but it is a run that they need indeed. As River drops back, seeing if he has a man open, 
I this say he doesn't. The computer said he the does. He K Ray catches the ball, gets the touchdown, handle. runs into the border, and celebrates Hamilton in the tunnel. The it's good. We didn't even know we could do that. Team will pull ahead. It is now 13 to 10 after the PAT is good. We have eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. This might be the longest field. fourth quarter team on my channel action. so far because I do not understand. Incomplete. Look at Let's what are you the penalty affects at? things. The home team takes the penalty. You know, in those situations, if it wasn't for that fan, penalty, bro, the QB might be drawing you up. That's crazy. Yet they fall for it anyway. I can't Go. believe. I can't believe, and I should be believing because pass, it's what he does. But I just can't believe something. What made well, you think we'll that would get past? Deep the over the middle of the field is Jerome Blaskar. Thank you so the much. And then Eli the Lucas gives, a, gives us an extra 15 because he decides acceptable. to get a hand up. And face mask. I don't know enough. how or when he did it because it's like it was a leg tackle. But hey, they're going to give it to us. We're going to take it. And those yards did not count for Jerome Blaskar because of the penalty. Freeman, That's crazy. Because it was from the spot of the foul. But whatever. Freeman in the flats picks up a ball. I'm going to say two. Junior spot says two. I'm going to say two. I'll be junior. I think that's where it was. Three or four would have been junior. But no. There's two. He had his arm extending everything. So why only has 34 yards today? That's wild. Looking for a man downfield. He throws it right into the defensive back. And, you know, I'm I'm really losing faith in him. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. And, like, the more I see him play, the more I'm ready to get another quarterback. It's crazy. But you know what? Like I said, it's just going to be a QB battle next year. And you know what they say. You got two QBs, you don't have any. And that's the truth. That really is the truth. As McCoy gets the handoff. And McCoy is trying to earn a franchise tag at least. I'm really, I'm considering keeping him. Let's just see how this draft goes. I'm, I'm, I'm considering keeping him. I'm not even going to lie to you. Because it, he's, he's slowly earning a spot. As he kicked a field goal, and it's not good. He hits the upright. He hits the left upright. So it is now 13 to 10. We are down 13 to 10, fourth quarter. This and that. I just, I just can't understand what it is that I have to do. And it's nothing I have to do because I'm not a user. I can't, I'm not using controlling it. But what has to happen for to shit to go right? You know, as we get a tackle for loss, they got a tackle for. Lost is second and 13 after they went four and out on a previous drive. It is now second and 13. There's a penalty on the field. And Barter Freeman makes a catch for a ball that is thrown way too low. Holding minus 10 yards from the line. So now it is second and 23 versus third and six. Wow. Number three. Wow, wow, wow. We do not understand Incomplete. shooting ourselves in the foot. And he throws the ball right into the defensive back. And I thought that was going to be a pick six, but the defense the can't catch. Thankfully, I don't understand why he's throwing set. dumb passes like this. I don't understand why I'm running dumb back back at this point because all comeback hitches and curl, curl routes right now are just filling. As he throws it down, he deep down the field, pay me. The man I mentioned earlier catches the ball, takes it to the end zone, get tackled, fall forward with his arm extended. He wants to win today. He is not trying to go home early, and I agree with him. I love him for that. It is now 17-13, and from this point forward, nobody scores. And here we are with 18 seconds left on the clock. We are kneeling, and I am going to do my outro here, guys. I love y'all. I know y'all love me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Follow, check out my brother Sneaks Hot. Okay, I'm on Instagram, Feral Trey. Okay, fan base, Feral Trey, Twitter, Trey underscore Feral. I love y'all. Love, peace, and chicken grease.